So I understand that you do not like the metaphor of cancer as a battle. Is that correct? That is right. Yeah, I don't. Um, uh, it doesn't work for me. Um, when illness came into my life, I had reached a, a, a place where I really didn't see anything as necessarily good or bad. I, I believe that everything has both good and bad in it, and it's really very much how you meet uh, your experiences. That is the defining sort of quality as to the experience that you're going to have. So I couldn't just because something really, you know, that's conventionally considered in inverted commas bad had come into my life, it dropped that way of understanding things because it had been so immensely enriching for me and and had greatly upped my sum of, of happiness. So um, in any case, it doesn't feel right to me that something that is part of you, inside you, um, is an enemy. It's there. It's it, as I say. It's part of you. So for me, it was much more about um, understanding what this illness might be saying to me, and trying to um, tease out the multiple layers of meaning. And um, it was one of a few things that happened to me around that time that were quite significant, and they all came together. And I, I, I do know that that very often happens in life. So I have had a number of very good things that have emerged from this illness. And um, again, there I'm judging again. <laughs> but um, again, for me, it is about, I suppose, that creative connection, mm -hmm. that intention and attention to what's going on and remaining in the moment that you're in because an awful lot of the idea of cancer as the enemy and that you must do battle with it is about looking forward. It's about trying to beat death, which we cannot do. And it is about, you know, trying to prolong your time on this earth maybe, or it's, a, you know, it's all, it's all future-based really. And um, I suppose for me, it's about coming back to, right now and how life is right now and in this moment a year and a half on life is better than ever so i can't see the cancer as an enemy no that's wonderful how, how did you come before this how did you come to the point uh where you looked at events as neither good nor bad um, it started actually funnily probably with a course I used to run around creating wealth and by wealth I mean true wealth, deep wealth, uh, which incorporates financial um, wealth but is, is much more than that. And that idea, an idea that was very central to that was the idea of the opportunity that is contained in um what seems like a setback you know that was a, one of the, the core sort of modules of that course mm -hmm. and it was really from that that central understanding of that 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 it grew really and to me it's it's the instant um peacemaker isn't it when you stop judging when you stop meeting the world with your ideas about it intact when you just let it be what it is it's instant peace, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that, that's where it came from. So you're saying that an event is neither positive nor negative. Its meaning depends on how it is interpreted. Exactly. Yeah, I like uh, Swami Vivekananda said, the very thing I call pleasurable today, tomorrow under better circumstances I may call pain. The fire that warms us can also consume us. It is not the fault of the fire. <laughs> So I, I like that. I, I like it too. <laughs> so, what are you creating now? Um, a few things. I um, I've got lots of interesting stuff around the creative intelligence blog, which are going to come on stream. And um, these are very much about enabling people to get very specific about their own creation. So it's about again that that supporting other people to be 
creative and to to ignite their creative intelligence so at a very practical level planners and and such like so i'm kind of chugging away on those in the background but my main work of the moment is um a third novel Ah. my biggest biggest project yet it is based around the new york draft riots of 1863 and um yeah um in the in the research sort of phase for that well it's great to have a huge project that consumes you i can relate to that and it, it just it's exhilarating to work on something you love and are so passionate about absolutely well this has been wonderful thank you so much for for sharing your thoughts and more intimately your your um situation right now that I think will help a lot of people who are also dealing with illness. I think that's inspiring them. And one last question, how can people contact you? Um, best way is through the website, um, ornerost.com, and um, the email address is info at ornerost.com, um, and that, that's, that's the best way in. Well, thank you. I will include all of those links on the blog post. and. I'm sure that you will hear from some people who want to discuss it further with you. So thank you so much for joining us today, Orna. It was indeed a pleasure. So thank you, and thank you for the work you do. It's, it's so valuable. It really is. My pleasure. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye.